What's up? Today we're going to be laddering from 1000 all the way to top 100 on the OU ladder and it's going to be an instructive video on how to climb the ladder because I've gotten a lot of requests about how to actually win on the ladder because a lot of people get stuck in the 1400, 1500 range and today I'm going to show you how to play through that range and get to the top. And for the purpose of the video, I am going to be using a sample team. So just make sure to check out the sample teams. And the reason I'm doing that is basically to guarantee that I have a good team. So it's more about how to play than how to build right now. And we get a good team and we see this is already not a very standard OU team. And when you play teams like this, you just have to be really careful. You just, that's the main thing right now. So you have to identify your win cons and how do you beat it? You don't want to be losing to a team you shouldn't be losing to. So right off the bat, I'm looking at his threats. His threats could be Dragon Dance, Dragonite, everything else doesn't look so threatening. So I'm going to lead Tornadus and just throw off knockoffs. See what I can do with that. He leads Dragonite and here, I want a knockoff, but I am scared of, for example, Dragon Dance, right? So I'm going to U-turn into my Toxic Lando. I do have to be scared of Ice Punch, but I don't think it will be an issue. We get the Intimidate off. He uses Dragon Dance, we'll get the Toxic off. It might be Ice Punch. We have to be careful, but yeah, not Ice Punch, he uses Dragon Claw. And now we can just play safe. We don't have to put- ooh, it's Lumberry, okay. But still, doesn't change our game plan. We have to play safe, and that's all we need to do. We need to play calm and collected right now. We should be able to handle the Dragonite with the combination of Pharaoh. Okay, he goes to Lapras now. We get a Toxic off. And again, don't do anything too fancy. We have an Assault Vest looking. We'll go to it right now. And this game should be relatively easy. It's a Rain Dance with Hydration, it looks like. Interesting set. We can Future Sight here. Surf. Rain Dance plus probably... Is it not hydration? Okay, yeah. See, this is what I'm talking about. Low ladder is easy. You don't have to stress out about it. Thunder doing 13. We should wrap this up pretty soon. 28. Future side will kick in, maybe. Pattaya Berry. See, you don't have to uh, panic versus these, these type of teams. We'll go to Pharaoh on the surf right now. Yeah, he uses Thunder. Not really good enough. He'll probably go to Arcanine now. And we should be able to beat this team pretty easily right now. Arcanine in rain. Now, he goes to Machamp. We can wall it with Tornadus right now. He uses Dynamic Punch with Life Orb. We'll just Hurricane right now. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, doesn't even kill. That's impressive. Okay, that is impressive. It lived. But yeah, nothing to worry about. We can honestly go Weavile maybe. Let's go Urshifu in case he goes Arcanine. Yeah, he goes Arcanine. We can, like, if I'm high ladder, I U-turn here. But we are low ladder, I'm going to Surging Strike here. Yeah, see? We don't have to be too complicated. And now Weavile should win the game right now. So really, really uh, easy wins right now on low ladder. And versus low ladder, as I said earlier, you should be focusing on making solid plays. You don't need to predict too much. You don't need to stress out a lot. Just make solid plays. He goes Dragonite here. Uh, let's go to Lando again. Yeah, had Fire Punch, see? Now we can Toxic U-turn. We can U-turn into Weavile, for example. Yeah, we can U-turn. Just make solid plays, we'll go here and Ice Shard. Yeah, and something should die right now. Yeah, it dies. Gengar will probably die. Venusaur will die. Yeah, he forfeits. And really easy game right now. We'll see how many games we can get done in probably like 30 minutes. So we see a team here that is also not a standard OU team. It has a Scolipede. So we just have to be careful about not being weak to, for example, Swords Dance Scolipede. But the rest of his team looks like it's going to be a pushover. Maybe Shell Smash uh, Blastoise could be a problem. Um, yeah, let's lead with Urshifu because it matches up well versus most of his team. He leads Arcanine. And again, just going to Surging Strikes here. No need to get complicated. No need to predict anything. Wild Charge, see Scarf Arcanine, totally unexpected, but not really a big deal. So we kill the Arcanine right now. He goes to Scolipede now. Which is interesting, but I think just attacking is our is our best bet right now. Yeah, he uses Swords Dance. We should be killing, right? Yeah. A really easy, straightforward, don't do anything too complicated right now. He goes to Togekiss. I don't think it's Scarf, so we should kill right now, or do a lot of damage anyway. Yeah, really easy right now, okay. Danny yeah, forfeits, right? So we're already at 1100 right now, almost, right? We're at a 1085, so uh, good stuff right now. We get another game, again, another non-standard team. So we'll have to be scared of the Dragon types, but we do have a Weavile. 
And yeah, that's basically all we have to worry about right now. So we can probably like what lead Weavile? That might be risky, right? We don't want to risk our win con so early, right? Uh, let's lead Tornadus maybe? Hmm. Um, hmm. Let's lead Urshifu right now. He leads Dragon. We can U-turn into, for example, Landorus right now. This could be Rocky Helmet, which could be annoying, but you turned a 56 Rocky Helmet rough skin, yeah. We go to Landorus here. Now we can just Stealth Rock up. And it's about identifying the win cons right now. So Weavile is our most valuable player, right? So we have to keep Weavile safe. And if we can do that, we should be uh, winning. So we'll get our Earthquake up here, or should we Toxic? Let's Toxic, maybe he'll go to Hydreigon. We don't know, right? Yeah. Now, let's just Earthquake. Yeah, we get the kill with Earthquake here. I wonder what he'll go to now. Maybe Haxorus? Not really sure. He goes to Hydreigon. Hydreigon is a threat to this particular team, so we might have to sacrifice something, but we can just U-turn now, keep it simple. Ooh, it's Dragon Dance, wow. So we U-turn, and now we can go to Weavile and Ice Shard. And it's very important to keep Weavile safe. Don't take any ri uh, unnecessary risk with Weavile because it is our most important player right now. And it's all about managing risk so you don't get swept by random things like Dragon Dance, Hydreigon, right? Now he probably will go to... Yeah, he forfeits now, okay. Yeah, so we should be doing pretty decent right now. We should be moving pretty fast, actually. Yeah, so we get another team, another random team with like double, double fairy, double normal, I think. Uh, we can lead Lando. Lando matches up versus everything except for Tapu Fini. Yay. So it's Scrappy, Mill Tank. We can get Stealth Rock up. Uh, in low ladder, always get your hazards up. Stealth Rock here. And this might be Heal Bell, right? So we can Toxic and then U-turn maybe. Or we can we can U-turn into Surging Strikes or Shifu, right? Maybe. Let's U-turn into Pharaoh now. It's a little little un uncomfortable, but you can't- you shouldn't panic when you see these random sweepers on low ladder. You shouldn't panic at all. He uses Toxic now, okay. Yeah, he forfeits, yeah. Yeah, don't panic. When you see a random sweeper on low ladder, don't panic at all. Because typically, um, the reason they're not OU, these Pokemon are not OU, is because they suck. So you should be able to beat them pretty easily. Now we finally have a real team right now. We finally have a real team, so we have to think about how we're going to play. Um, Urshifu matches up well. It's probably Rocky Helmet Garchomp, maybe. So Urshifu or Rocky Helmet Corv too. So my priority... I'm going to lead Torn and try knocking things off right now. That's going to be my priority. So he leads Garchomp. Let's see if we can knock this off. It's probably Toxic Garchomp, right? Knock off Rough Skin. No, it's leftovers, okay. Stealth Rock up, let's defog here. He uses Toxic, that's fine. We can U-turn. And one thing I recommend in low ladder is to have Pokemon with Regenerator. Regenerator is always valuable. He gets Stealth Rock up. We do have to be worried about Magma Zone. Um, so let's go to Landorus here. A little bit of an advanced play right now, but we'll go Landorus because it covers a fire type move from Garchomp and it covers the Magma Zone switch. So let's go Lando here. He goes Corviknight, which is interesting. We can use that to get Stealth Rock up. Yeah, Corviknight doesn't make much sense versus a Pharaoh Thorn. Now what does he go to? He might go to Weavile, for example. He goes to Weavile, yeah. And now we have to let something take a knockoff. Let's go to Pharaoh to take the knockoff here. He uses Triple Axle instead of knockoff, okay. Now we have our own free knockoff here. Yeah, we knock off the Weavile here. And Leech Seed or Body Press. Let's Body Press because we don't know what he's doing right now. Keep it simple, right? Yeah, there we go. Body Press, right? So you're not going to be... Okay, He now he goes to Magnezone. And Magnezone is probably going to trap us right now. Oh, it's Specs Magnezone, okay. Okay. Yeah, not really an issue right now. Now he goes to Garchomp. Okay. And yeah, let's just keep let's uh, keep our uh, Ferrothorn alive here, and let's Earthquake here. Yeah, let's Earthquake here for free. 
And yeah, so far we're doing pretty well. We're just grinding his team out right now. Making safe, solid plays. That's our goal right now. Playing really solid, sol solidly. Let's U-turn here. It's unclear what he's going to do right now. But let's go, for example, Torn here is never bad. Now we can knock off the Rocky Helmet. And we should win the game with our Rishifu. Yeah, he uses Brave Bird there. We can U-turn. We can do a lot of things. We can go Pharaoh and sack it. We can go Sloking. We'll go Pharaoh here. Uh, now he might Brave Bird, right? We can go to Sloking. Now let's Flamethrower. A little bit tricky breaking down the Corviknight, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue with our Urshifu in the back. Now he goes to Sloking Galar. Good play from him. Let's try and uh, push the tempo right now. Let's go Weavile right now on a potential future site or Psychic. He uses Sludge Bomb, okay. We got a little aggressive and we got punished for it, but not a big deal in the long run. We can still knock something off right now. He goes to Corviknight. Let's go to Urshifu now. Now let's hit him with the Surging Strikes and break through. We got our chance now and we're going to break through now. Surging Strikes should do maybe 60, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, and now we finally break through and it should be cleaning up from here on out. We'll go and sacrifice Ferrothorn here. And we can probably go to Tornadus and throw off a Hurricane right now. We could also knock off. Either is fine. Let's Hurricane though. He goes to Floking Galar. We can knock that off. He uses Future Sight. Not an issue. We go to our own Floking Galar. Uh, let's Future Sight. He goes to Urshifu Rapid. At this point, we can probably sack Landorus right now. And we can go to Tornadus and U-Turn. And yeah, now that's going to die, right? Oh, it doesn't die, okay. Now we can close combat. Yeah, and Tornadus should win the game now. It's a little bit trickier than the previous games, right? He goes to Corviknight, that is going to die, unfortunately. We can use the Surging Strikes, totally fine. Go to Tornadus, throw off a Hurricane right now, and we win the game, yeah. So even though it was a trickier team, we stuck to our game plan and we were able to win the game. Let's keep going. And we get one more game, and this time it's like a non-standard team. So we have to look at the sweepers first, right? So Cloyster and Halucha are going to be problems, maybe. So Weavile has Ice Shard for Halucha, and Urshifu can check Cloyster. So we are covered in that sense. But uh, yeah, we just have to play safe right now. We lead Tornadus. Let's knock off here. We either remove Heavy Duty Boots or we remove Choice Specs. Either is fine. Let's knock off here. 19% Mystic Water. That's fine. Steam Eruption does 60. Not really enough. And now we U-turn. And Tornadus' Regenerator is coming into play right now. We can go Sloking now. Uh, Sludge Bomb or Future Sight, both are fine right now. Let's just uh, throw off a Future Sight, keep things active. Future Sight, okay. Sludge Bomb again. Sludge Bomb, okay. 46 right now. We can go Tornadus because we live Steam Eruption, right? We can go Tornadus because we live Steam Eruption. Let's go Tornadus. Earth Power doesn't kill Future Sight. Connects, and yeah, we're doing fine right now. We have Lando to switch into Zerora, so that's not an issue either. Let's go Lando. Yeah, Blaze Kick didn't matter. We can Stealth Rock up, or we can U-turn. Either is fine. Let's Stealth Rock up. He goes to Cloyster now, but we can immediately go to Urshifu. Yeah, let's close combat here. It might be Focus Sash, which could be a problem, but we do have Ice Shard Weavile, but maybe it is Focus Sash, right? 
No, it's not. It's white herb, right? It's white herb. Yeah. Not good enough right now. And now... Weavile is really good in low ladder because Ice Shard is good priority for all these random sweepers like Halucha or, for example, Dragapult, right? He goes to Corviknight, which is interesting. That should take a lot of damage, right? Let's close combat here. Yeah. He uses Defog. He might go to Dragapult now. Um, no need to get too uh, prediction reliant, right? We are low ladder, keep it simple. If he goes Dragapult, yeah, he didn't go Dragapult. But if he did, we're still fine because we have Pharaoh, we have Lando, we have everything in the back, right? Let's go... Now, Halucha is always tricky to deal with. So let's get chip damage off. Or not, I guess. Yeah, now we can go Weavile and win the game. I thought he might be like Sky Attack or something. And I guess he wasn't. Yeah. There we go. And Weavile should win the game. Be careful, don't sacrifice versus Zerora, because you do want Ice Shard for Dragapult. He uses Bulk Up, interesting. We can Earthquake here. Should be Toxic. Earthquake, Toxic, both are fine. Actually, this gave me an idea. What about Weakness Policy, Bulk Up, Zerora? That could be a good set, right? Like, imagine if that was Weakness Policy. That would be a really cool set. Um, anyways. Substitute here. This might be Disable, right? Just be a little careful about Disable Dragapult. Yeah, it's not Disable, but let's Ice Shard here and we should finish off the game right now. Oh, it lived. Yeah, okay. Now we can go Torn and knock off here. Yeah, and we're going to win the game right now. I wonder what item it was. It was Dragon Fang. Interesting. Okay, let's get one more game right now. We get one more game, which is like a half a UU team with the Thunderous and the Age of Slash. Toxapex could be annoying, but we're just going to continue our game plan. Let's lead Torn here. Yeah, uh, he leads Volcarona. We can Hurricane here, or we can knock off and go to Urshifu. We can do a lot of things right now. Let's just Hurricane, uh, in case he stays in. If he switches out, okay. Like, if I'm High Ladder, I probably use Knock Off here but I don't know if he's going to switch out or not. So we'll just Hurricane for free. Okay, he does switch out. No harm there. He does switch out. We can U-turn now. I'm not too scared of Scarf Thunderous, but maybe I should be. Um, yeah, now we can go Lando. He uses Nasty Plot, which is interesting. I don't think this can touch me though, right? Let's U-turn into Weavile. I don't think this can touch me, right? There's no way. Yeah, he doesn't, okay. He U-turns. Um, now we have a lot of options right now. We can go Ferrothorn and start setting up spikes, for example. That could be a good idea. Let's go ahead and do that. He might go to Volcarona, which could be annoying, but... Yeah, basically a lot of options, and hazards are always good. So let's go and get them up. He goes to Volcarona, okay. We do have uh, Aqua Jet Rishifu. Let's go to Slow King and get some damage off, and then go to Urshifu. Yeah, let's get some damage off right now. And Volcarona is one of the most threatening sweepers, right? So we do have to be careful. But as long as we have an Urshifu in the back, we should be fine right now. Let's get some more chip damage off. And we have to make a decision, do we go immediately to Urshifu? Or not, right? Um, let's immediately go for it, right? Oh, we get burned. Yeah, see that's one of the problems of playing too aggressively right now. It's not the burn, but he could have psychic right? And this is actually an example of what not to do on low ladder. You don't want to be taking too many risks because you have no idea. Is he going to make a good play? Is he going to make a crazy play? You have no idea. This was an example of what not to do. It just happened to work because he could have psychic there, right? Um, now what does he go to? His biggest threat is gone right now. He goes to Rillaboom. But it's not really a threat right now. He doesn't really have anything threatening left. So all we have to do really is uh, pivot around and get Weavile into a good position. A Weavile can dominate his team right now. Grassy Glide is doing like, what, 25? Let's knock off here. He might go to Toxapex or Thunder as we really don't know. He goes to Age of Slash, okay. We knock off here. And let's make a simple play. Let's U-turn into Lando. Yeah. Let's U-turn into Lando. 
He uses Substitute, okay. Um, we don't really know much about the Aegis Slash right now, so we can go Torn because of Regenerator, so even if it takes damage, it's not a big deal. It's Sword Stance Aegis Slash, that's good to know, right? Now we can knock off potentially. He uses Iron Head, not a big deal. Now we can U-turn into Lando again. Yep, there we go. Now we U-turn into Lando. Iron Head doesn't do a lot. Now we can Earthquake. Now we can Earthquake. He uses King's Shield, not an issue. We can keep Earthquaking right now. If we want, we could Stealth Rock too. Like if I was High Ladder, I would Stealth Rock here, but he might stay in. So let's Earthquake. He should probably be going to Landorus right now, but... He goes to Rillaboom, okay. We have a Tornadus that can live any hit. So we don't need to predict anything. We don't need to stay in and U-turn or something, right? We don't need to predict. We'll go to Tornadus here. Grassy Glide doesn't do enough. Now we can U-turn. If he goes to Thunderous or something, right? Yeah. He goes to Lando. We don't know if it's Scarf or not. It's probably not because he doesn't have a Stealth Rocker. So let's go Weavile and try and make some progress, right? He goes to Toxapex. Good play from him. We don't do enough. We have options right now. We can go to Ferrothorn, for example. He doesn't really have anything that can punish Ferrothorn. Yeah, see, Toxic, not good enough. We can throw off a Spike to help us versus Rillaboom and Aegislash. Yeah, so we get a Spike up. Now we can Leech Seed here. He can't really touch Pharaoh as far as I'm aware. Yeah, he uses Nasty Plot. I think it might be Focus Blast. Is that his idea right now? Let's go to Lando here. Discharge, okay, yeah. See, he's not really a threat to us at all, right? We can do a lot of things. We can Stealth Rock, we can U-turn. Let's U-turn into Weavile. Play it safe, yeah. He goes to Toxapex. Let's just go to Pharaoh. Keep it simple, get another spike up. He goes to Thunderous and now we can keep going Lando so we can Lando into Weavile, yeah. Um, yeah, no need to make any predictions, we can U-turn into Weavile. If he tries to predict us, good for him, but we don't need to change our game plan. Yeah, see? Now we U-turn, we go Weavile, and something is going to die. And we've made progress versus this type of Toxapex type fat team, right? There we go, one down. Magnet, which is interesting. And yeah, the rest of the team should crumble pretty quickly to Swords Dance Weavile. He goes to Aegislash now, and... He's probably going to King's Shield, but that's fine by me. Yeah, no need to be overcomplicate things. Like, I could have Swords Dance predicting, predicting King's Shield, but that wouldn't have been worth it at all. Now, what do we do? We can go Pharaoh Thorn, get a Leech Seed off, finish the game off right now. Yeah, it's Liquidation for some reason. He uses Baneful Bunker. He's stalling it out, but he's going to lose to Weavile. Okay, and we finally win the game right now, and that's going to wrap up the live. We reached 1200 on the ladder, which is pretty good, and the next episode we'll try and go from 1200 to 1400. And if you like this type of ladder to the top content, make sure to let me know in the comments below, but thank you.